If it's a larger order, sure, give us a little notice, but we would be more than happy to take care of that for you. Oh, Absolutely. Excellent. Now, another thing, I, I, I just am amazed at your shop. Tell us about all of the other small businesses that sell, they, they market their products in your shop, like the Flower Guy and Thelma's. Tell us, how, how, can we go through a list? Because well, you're really supporting a lot of small businesses in Abbotsford in your shop. I don't, a lot of people don't, don't realize that. Well, and, and maybe they some do, and but uh, there are a number. Uh, you mentioned a few. Uh, Birchwood Dairy Ice Cream is a local uh, icon, uh, as far as high quality, as good as any I've ever Absolutely. tasted. Absolutely, we have a flower supplier again, um, just local grower, and and he drops fresh flowers there every week, and and they're just great value in a in a in a ten dollar bundle, better than you'd see any other place, but. Uh, Hey, anybody or a lot of people that come in, we'd just love to give them shelf space or counter space. And uh, we've got Thelma's Goodies by Thelma, which are oh, known throughout Western have you, Canada. Have you tasted her pickled garlic? Oh, I've tasted, oh. Them. I've tasted them all. Oh, the, been, okay, pickled garlic, carrots, the green beans. The beets. I made a, she beets? made a believer oh. out of beets. Uh, or, I haven't I, tried her beets yet. No, I was never, you know, you couldn't get me to, to stay in the same room as a pickled beet as a kid. <laughs> But uh, now, uh, honestly, they're just they're fantastic. Oh, though you don't eat them with a white T-shirt on. But uh, <laughs> things like that, she she's just got it down. Uh, uh, you know, she uses local suppliers of all her all her veggies, and a person like that, I can get behind. And uh, yes, again, yes. she's she's known throughout Western Canada, so she's not really a micro producer, but she's just got the best thing on the market. And she's and, such a uh, sweet lady, isn't you know? she? Oh, well, in her eighties, with her third generation now, the family working in a business. It's just, it's a local success story. Yep. Uh, again, what about that woman that, that does the butters? The butter pucks. Uh, butter pucks. Again, a customer who introduced, uh, I guess you would say, a single product uh, line. It's uh, it's flavor infused, three types, three different types of flavor infused butter, which I've tried. And uh, just. So, where I, would you use, like, how would you use a butter puck? Well, it, it's. More like a tube of butter, and you just knock off, might be a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon, and mm -hmm. you would use it where butter's the star of the show, as mm -hmm. I usually say, where where if you got some fresh asparagus or if you had some fresh local green beans or a cob of corn, uh, maybe people like to melt a tab of butter on a steak, uh, uh, but wherever butter is not going to be lost in the in the confusion of other ingredients, uh, you use it where butter's the star, and you just melt a uh, Maybe, as I say, a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon, and the, the incredible flavors oh. that she draws out of oh, that. Oh, man. Just, uh, it's, what, it's what dining is meant to be, you know, is to savor.